hello everyone let's provide a solution to this very quickly we have b to the power of 3 plus b equals 30 we have b to the power of 3 plus b minus 30 equals to 0 okay what i did is to bring this 30 to the left but do you also know that 30 can be written in this form if i do that i'll have b to the power of 3 plus b minus open bracket 30 now becomes 27 minus okay it's plus plus 3 then we equate to 0 this is because 27 is 3 to the power of 3 and it's in this form and this 3 is already here okay so if we have b to the power of 3 plus b this becomes negative 27 and this goes there to become negative 3 then whatever we have is equal to 0 what we'll do now is to rearrange so i have b to the power of 3 minus 27 plus b then we have minus minus 3 everything is equal to 0 do not forget that 27 here will be written as b um 3 to the power of 3 then plus b minus 3 if you like you close this bracket it has not it hasn't changed anything then let's deal with this separately and this separately if you have your x let me use x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 this is the same thing as x minus y into x squared plus a b okay that will be x y because we are using x and y then i have y squared close this so that x is now b and then um y is equal to 3 so let's substitute this into this x minus y now equals b minus 3 then here we have um x squared becomes um b squared plus xy that will be b times 3 and that is 3b then plus y squared y squared becomes 3 squared close this and then i have b minus 3 over there i have plus open bracket b minus 3 then we equate to 0 now b minus 3 is here then here i have b squared plus 3b plus 9 and then i have b minus 3 everything to equal 0 now we have a common factor which is b minus 3 so we factorize b minus 3 out then in here i have this which is b squared plus 3b plus 9 then plus the whole of this is out but one will be left over there and we equate to zero now what do i do we can have b minus 3 and then b squared plus 3b plus 10 because we can remove the bracket and add 9 and 1 so that um, it is either b minus 3 equals 0 or b squared plus 3b plus 10 equals 0 from here now our b is equal to 3 and it is the real solution to the equation but from here we can get additional two solutions we have b squared plus 3b plus 10 
equals zero okay so what do we do let's um write our equation because we're going to solve this quadratic equation using the formula the formula is um x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2 multiplying a but remember that we are looking for b in this problem so we're going to rewrite this equation and we'll have x squared plus 3b plus 10 equals 0 but note that even if we are looking for okay sorry this is now x right okay this x here is standing in for the b since we have b in the formula okay so now what will be my b b is 3 from there or even from here so this is our b so we're going to write negative 3 plus or minus remember that b is still 3 so we have 3 squared this is my square then i have minus 4 multiplied by 1 a is 1 that is the coefficient of x squared then multiply by c c is 10 then we divide all of this by 2 times 1 because a is still 1 now x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 40 and this is over 2 so that um, x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of negative 31 then we divide this by 2 if we continue x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus we have i square root of 31 because of this negative we have this um imaginary um constant which is i and then we have this as 2 then we divide by 2 rather so that x will now be equal to minus 3 plus okay plus i root 31 over 2 or we have minus 3 minus i root 31 over 2 but remember that x is standing for b so let's get the solutions together we got the first solution b1 which is equal to 3 then our b2 is this value of x and it's minus 3 plus i root 31 divided by 2 then our b3 shall be minus 3 okay we're using negative now minus 3 negative i root 31 all over 2 like i said this is negative not positive so these are the three solutions to the equation remember this is the only real solution as the other two are complex solutions